Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today is another vlog day, which I think is going to last a couple of work days. Um, today is a day off, and I seem to say that a lot. I don't actually take a lot of days off. Um, but I did do three clients this morning, and then I'm going to a massage therapy appointment, which is why I look like this. There's not a thing in the old hair. I don't I don't think there's any makeup on. No, there probably isn't. Um, anyway, so I'm going to a massage therapy appointment because that is legitimately the only thing that keeps me going. Um, and then I'm going to do some grocery shopping for the week. I'm going to go through some empties with you. Gosh, what else? But I am going to be back tomorrow and I am going to take you with me through like the work day tomorrow. So we will be back for that. Kind of in the back in the normal swing of things. I filmed a lot like last week or the week before last and I just haven't had that much to film this week. So I just haven't. But let's get to the empties and then I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back. Okay, so it's time for some empties as promised. So here's what I had. Let's start with the most important thing. Food. So I picked up some of these RX bars. I actually, um, you can generally only get them in the States. You can have them shipped into Canada. You can order them that way. These are so good. Um, this is the blueberry one. So I snacked on some of these for the past couple of days. So I just thought I'd mention it because when it's busy, I know that we have a hard time eating, so whatever snack that you usually use throughout the day, pop that down below because I figured out like it helps all of us to be able to kind of get better ideas on, on what to snack on throughout the day. Okay, compressed air. I mean, it's just a given. This is a Costco brand. Actually, I was a little upset with one of them. This one. This one is not empty, it's broken. I dropped it, totally my fault, it didn't come that way. And it seems as easy as just popping the cap back on, but it's not because when you pull the trigger, the cap comes off. So anyway, if you wanna hold down on the cap, you can have air, but ain't nobody get time for that. Product, my Ugly Duckling Premium Acrylic in the 8.45 ounce, um, I've probably gone through a few of these since the last time I did an empty. I usually just keep one. Same as this, I kept. I guess I kept both, but this is my pink Ugly Duckling Acrylic. Just a regular pink, this is the one I go through the most of. It's the one I use on every day. A Light Elegance number 10 acrylic brush. Another one bites the dust. I use a lot of these. A drill bit. A trusty. Young nails. Drill bit. I'm going to have to look back. I can't remember which one this is. I'll look back and I'll pop it on the screen right here but I do love these. They've got just the right size head on them. Artistic nail design, hear me roar. Pretty, pretty, pretty color. But unfortunately, all gone, got really thick, got kind of gross. Um, an artistic nail design glossing gel, so they're top coat. And I wanted to mention this because they have new packaging. So this is the new one. This isn't empty yet. So speaking of top coats, an Ugly Duckling Matte. If you watch my videos, you know I'm a fan. What am I doing? This is awkward. There we go. Okay, let's get into some colors. This is a Buttercream Tail Gator. So I'm gonna to need to get another one of those because that's really popular. 
buttercream rosy posy. Hard to see, probably. Love this one, love this one. But I'm gonna need to get another one of those as well. And a playful pink. It is also a buttercream. I probably will get another one of that color as well because it's really popular. Popular. So, two white, three white, three white and two black of the, let's get one that looks decent, of the paints, Fusion Paints, white 101, black 101. So here's what I do, when they get older and they get glitter in them and stuff, or when they get down so far that they're only good for lining, then I take a Sharpie marker and color in the top of it because then I know this is my bad one or this is my empty one. So this is the one that I would have used the most for lining because it's pretty well empty. But there's still lots of lines left in there. Like there's lots, you can put that in the cap and drag it through and it's totally fine. Okay, so that's that. Those are my empties for, I'm gonna say about two weeks. It hasn't been a terrible amount of time since I did my last empties video. But I seem to be going through a lot of stuff lately. Or maybe just since Christmas, things are like finishing up with product. I'm not sure. But that is what I've got for you. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed. And now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you want. To love me, take me to a place I'm calling for. Open up the doors, I'm knocking on. Oh, 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 oh. I'm losing control. Oh, oh, oh. Be the one to leave my fantasy. Show you, baby, your hands all over me. No, oh, oh, oh. I'll never let go. Oh, oh, oh. And now I'm taking over for the day Cause 
Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in this vlog, I did a little bit of some empties for you, and I did a little bit of nails, and you should have just seen those. So right now, what we are gonna do is, look, I have nail mail. Okay, let's open it. I already opened the box. So, just a little kind of thank you card with a safe 15% on it, a little bit of email, tissue paper, bubble wrap, okay, okay, here it is, okay, so I'm going to need your guys' help. First of all, I want to know how you guys remove tips off of your red iguana practice hand. I'm so excited for this, but I need to name her. Like I legit need to name her. So I need your guys' help. I want you to comment down below and tell me what I should name this gal. Here she is. Isn't she pretty? Oh, that's so much fun. Look. How amazing is that? I cannot wait to start doing nail art on this. So I'm not planning on actually doing any acrylic nails on this unless I'm doing like cutout stuff or whatever, like unless I'm planning to play around with that stuff. But I wanna know from you guys that have one, how you're removing the tips. Like I know what it says here and I'm not interested in soaking off is the thing, I will if I have to, but I would prefer to do it another way. So just let me know how you guys are removing the tips from yours in the meantime. Um, but I got 500 pieces of the stiletto tips and I have 600 pieces of the ballerina. It doesn't say. And then I got 500 pieces more of the stiletto. I kind of thought that I would use the stiletto more. I probably will, like when it comes to nail art. Anyway, super, super excited. I need to find like a clamp. I see people using almost like a cell phone. So at one point, I'm so excited, I can't even think. At one point in time, I had a cell phone tripod, like a cell phone holder, and it was a clamp. And I've seen people use those to hold these to like work on. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna use, um, but I would love to know what your setup is down below. She needs a good hand washing, I think. Um, and I would like to know what you want to name her. And I would also know how you are removing the tips. Okay, so I think this is going to wrap up this video. I think this is going to be the outro. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If anything, if you've seen anything you liked in this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you see anything you'd like to know more about or if you just want to chat. I love chatting with you guys. So until the next vlog, my lady and I say bye.